A couple days ago, I did a YouTube community post asking you guys to ask me questions and then we're going to do a Q&A video. This is the Q&A video. We might have to split this up into multiple videos so it's not super three hours long. This is what we're going to see on the screen right now. This is the PC10 team, Triple Mummy PC10 team on the free to win account where we only use two and three star monsters we don't use any vert heals we don't use any four star why do i always explain this i don't know why i always I'm like you guys either get it at this point or you don't get it <laughs> this way for years why we're not using vertigo anyway i think this is a very interesting creative team that's why i thought we would uh, it would be fun to see it on the screen so let's get it started let's put 10 minutes on the clock no i'm just kidding or maybe we should put 10 minutes on the clock where's the th oh here's the thing uh where's the thing that's what she said anyway let's get it started i'm going to answer all your questions i think i could just control and page down and go through all of these questions uh quickly this way it doesn't take five minutes for each question which you know i'm going to take anyway because it's me uh okay so first question from danny270 if you could have a fresh start with your current sub count not necessarily the same viewers and audience what content would you want to make as your brand that's an easy question that's omg food food videos that's by that's that's the the, the 10 year i said it wasn't going to take five minutes for for every answer but that's like the that's the ultimate game plan is i'm never going to be a million channel a million viewed uh million sub channel doing summoners war content i mean probably not even going to be a three hundred thousand sub uh, channel at that point right so uh yeah food channel food channel is the end game what's the next question in order to narrow the scope of the question what five things do you believe would greatly improve quality of life and overall fun of the game at this point give people runes number one <laughs> give people runes uh make farming they they have given people more access to runes make made farming a little bit easier uh, but that more monsters, faster, better balance patches. Uh, what else? Rune upgrades that don't take forever. I mean, there's still operate. Contuous is still. It's gonna be a Contuous raid video. Contuous is still operating like they used to for games like MMOs 10 years ago. Like, this is not a, a, a an MMO from 2010. This is a, a, a monster collector game in 2021. And one of the reasons that so many people have left over the years is is just like. Comptress needs to kind of get with the times. Some of the decisions that they make are uh, are actually in the right direction, but they just need to be faster and they need to be more aggressive with them. Like, oh, monsters, faster and more aggressive, more impactful new monsters, uh, and more often to keep people engaged, keep people excited. Uh, Epic Seven, I think, make this an Epic Seven video. Epic Seven does a good job of keeping the the constantly releasing new units and making them actually usable and valuable whereas like the new robos and stuff like that it's like what are we gonna do with the robos it's like it was exciting for not not even a week where do you see people <laughs> using robos now um anyway but you things like onimushas were really fantastic uh things like skogel was great uh so yeah that's uh those those are definitely Rune power up. I mean, come on, man. It, it, why does it take hours to power up runes? That's it's it's ridiculous. Uh, next question: How many hours do you farm a day? How many hours did you farm when you were aiming for high rank PvP content? Um, all all of, <laughs> all of that uh, for the time I just whenever I'm awake, the tablets are running and the tablets are farming, and I have multiple tablets, uh, and I even have tablets as backup tablets. For if these tablets have a problem, there's backup tablets so I can continue farming on multiple counts all the time, just always farming. Um, from the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed, and then I have tablets. <laughs> I have tablets next to me when I'm going to bed that are auto farming, and yeah, so all 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 day, all day, every day for seven years uh, since I started the game. So yeah, they really didn't change. Um, the only thing is like that changed for whether I'm right, like aiming for anything or not. Actually, I have been doing RTA this season. I just haven't been doing enough. So maybe I'll show you guys some RTA stuff. But it's just I feel like it's boring. I use the same comps all the time, eighty percent of the time. Uh, if you could design a monster, so how would it look roughly, and what skills would it have? Oh my God, it would be a giant doo doo monster. That's what I want. It would doo doo and it, uh, a pizza hat. This is a good monster. Calm to us. Call me. <laughs> like we're not call we, we don't want a doo-doo pizza monster. Um, you know what I think would be nice is like um, I, I mean like they could even take monster ideas from some of these other 
like old RPGs, old JRPGs, old like uh, Hydras and things like that, like multi-headed dragons and things. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's like a lot of things that are already in other uh, other RPGs and stick them in there. But uh, doo -doo, Pizza Hut Doodoo Monster. Okay, let's go to the uh, next one. I know you don't like going too public on personal life, but I would love vlogs. I'm sure others would love. The weird thing about vlogs, let me read the rest of the question first. I quit something from many years ago. I still watch your videos just because. Thank you, Jalison. Jalison? Jalison? Why do you call him Jalison? I don't know why I call him Jalison. Um, thank you, Jalison. Uh, weirdly enough, that IKEA vlog did actually pretty decent. So I'm always surprised when I do like things that I'm like, no one's gonna give a crap about this. The Chinatown vlog did decent. And I'm like, I don't remember how many views that got, like 30, 40,000 views? I could be wrong there. And didn't Ikea get like 70,000 views? So yeah, just weird. I'm like never expecting these things, but uh, yeah, I mean, vlogs would be cool. It's just like when you have a channel that people come to for Summoner's War, you kind of got to keep doing Summoner's War. So this is one of the things that I mentioned to Childish a while ago. He was like doing fitness stuff and he was like doing other games. I'm like, that's why it's like, that's that's hurting you is to not stick to one thing. That's something that hurt me on uh, some of my other channels as well is not sticking to one thing. And then like, and then YouTube doesn't know where to, who to show your stuff to. And then your, your click through rates are gonna suffer based on that. So we're kind of a slave to the algorithm actually. Uh, if you were in charge, how would you change things to make the game more eSport friendly? Uh, if I was in charge, I would not make the game more eSport friendly. There is a mode of Hearthstone. Uh, I, man, it's been so long since I played Hearthstone that I don't remember it at this point. Like, do I, is it just called Arena? Is, is that what it's called? Uh, or if it's even still in the game, it's been years since I've even picked up Hearthstone. Uh, good game, I really liked it, but... Um, to make the game more eSport friendly. So, so in that mode, Every, like, it would keep giving you choices of these three cards, and then these three cards, and you pick one of the three cards, and you add it to your deck, and you pick one of the three cards, and you add it to your deck, and you don't actually have to own those cards, it just gives you the card, basically lets you use the card for that match. So, uh, the big thing, which I actually mentioned years ago, is um, Comptuous could do something where, and they won't do this, because then people would have no incentive to spend money on LD packs, if, like, one of, like, if you were able to pick just if they give you five monster choices to pick from and you pick one to actually bring into the match and you know you get some LDs in there, it's like there would be no incentive to wail on rune packs and reaps and um and LDs and things like that if if that was the the game mode, then people would just be then you would actually see people that are more talented uh be at the top all the time because they would just be flexible and be able to play in many different situations and that would be more esport that would be more of an esport but i mean i think they should just call it tournaments they're not gonna they're not gonna change it to that because they would lose a lot of money that way and they would also piss off whales that way uh, so they would never do that um, it would make it more of a sport it would make it more of an esport uh, because it would be based on skill more than anything else but they're not going to do that because they're so I, th I think they should just call it a tournament and stop saying esports because it's kind of insulting to like Counter-Strike and things like that and League of Legends and uh, stuff like that. But if I was in charge, if I was in charge, I would bring it back to the Pokemon days. I would bring it back to the because um, basically there's a lot of people that started playing this game. I five. It's going to be five minute answers. Every single answer. Oh, God. God help us. But uh, yeah, a lot of people play this game because they want to play like a monster collector like Pokemon and they just want to like they like that it's like Pokemon 2.0 where it's like a little bit more fleshed out and Pokemon, and, you know, they got the rune system as well. But people like collecting monsters and come to us forgot that forgot that and they're like, you know what, let's make it an esports like that's not what people want. People want to collect cute monsters. That's what people want. They want to collect cute monsters and have them do crazy things in battles. So uh, council's like, no. <laughs> But it's different. It's different culturally, because um, in Korea they're very big on the esports. So Com to Us is a Korean company, and they're like, they're like, let's go in the esport direction. But the rest of the world is like, we're not Korea. So what is good for the Korean audience is not necessarily going to be as appealing to the rest of the audience. Some people in in other places like, um, like esports as well, uh, and and like things like RTA, but. Uh, not everyone, and the original group of people that started Summoner's War were not in it for esports. They were in it because it was a cute Pokemon-style game. 
Uh, so anyway, yeah. <laughs> so I would just bring it back to the Pokemon style and try to get more new players in. Instead of being like, eSports! But it's not really eSports, it's fake eSports. Uh, going back to your 2021 Beginners Guide, what are some good 5-star monsters for new players? I don't think it was covered much back then. It'd be great to know. Uh, so for, like, rerolls, um, rerolls are monsters that are good in both PvP and PvE. Uh, that are like AOE monsters. I think that uh, Bastet's a great monster. For, like, first, if your first unit is Bastet, then you you win at life. Well, so we got the first first five star Bastet uh, for beginners grind. I think Sean B in one of his series didn't he get a five star Bastet uh, as his first five star like in like years ago, like 2020 or 2019 or something like that. Anyway, uh, Bastet's great. Charlotte's great. Poseidon is great. Uh, Beth is great because she's, I mean, good, good things that are good farmers, but also can be good in, uh, TOA and giants and dragons as well. Like for example, Poseidon can actually be used in a dragons team. Charlotte, Poseidon can both be used in a, in a giants team, uh, decreased attack age, uh, and, and speed, um, stun waves. If you put them on fast on despair, so they can also be farmers as well. So they can be good in TOA. They can be good in a couple uh, early game dungeons, and they can be good for farmers. And then you could also use them for arena offense. So it's just very flexible uh, early game stuff. So, and what do you, you say? Thank you for the content and passion you bring to such an amazing game. <clears throat> next, uh, next question: Are you ever going to show us the music you played when you were in a metal band? It's sometimes I got to be careful because people will like find one thing and then go down the rabbit hole and be like, oh, now I find this other thing. Now I find this other thing. Now I find this other thing. Now I keep researching and find this other thing and this other thing and this other thing. And now I'm on the, and, and now they're on a family member's Facebook account. And then they're like messaging like people <laughs> like m messaging my relatives. And I'm like, calm down. Calm down. You got to be careful with that stuff on a, as a YouTuber. And you don't really realize that at first when you first start but then like after you've been doing it for a while it's like oh i gotta definitely be careful like what i tell people because there's you know most people aren't gonna do that but <laughs> but there's there's always some uh okay and a lot of times it's not even malicious it's just like sometimes it's like i know it's not being done malicious but it's scary uh let's go on to the next one i'd love for you to make other content besides mobile games me too uh, I've been watching you since 2015, and your personality not for the not the, for your personality not the game. Thank you. That's keeping me around as a kept me around as a viewer. There's, is there anything that keeps you from making other content besides this channel and being the primary source of income? Yeah, it's kind of like just being a slave to the algorithm. It's like you guys click on Summoners War stuff, so I keep making Summoners War stuff. The original channel uh, was actually I think someone asked about the original channel intent or the original channel name, but the original intent for the channel was to play, not even play mobile games or Summoners War specifically, it was supposed to be playing a bunch of different uh, just games in general, right? It was supposed to be just comedy, like, comedy videos that happened to be playing games at the same time, but you guys kept asking more for more Summoners War, Summoners War, Summoners War, so then I kept making more Summoners War because, it, like, in any business, because this is, you being doing YouTube is a business, so in any business, you have to do what your customers want. So if your customers are saying, like if, if, you have a, uh, if you have a pizza shop and your customers keep asking for spaghetti, then guess who's gonna put spaghetti on the menu? <laughs> you're gonna put spaghetti on the menu or you're gonna like lose money, potentially lose customers, potentially have them go somewhere else where there's spaghetti on the menu, right? So uh, yeah, so I, I, I do have other channels that I'm working on building right now. For example, like the Bagelmon channel. I think we just gotta make that, I think we have to deviate from mobile games on that channel because there's really, the, the real reality of the situation is that most mobile game channels never make it anywhere. There's a few like Clash of Clans that have gotten really big, like big Clash of Clans channels, like 10 years ago though. Um, and then, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of people that try to do mobile gaming channels and most of them, like even the ones that are successful is like, they're the biggest channel of this mobile game. It's like, they're still not paying rent with that. So it's, uh, it's, there's a lot more opportunity in other things than, than mobile games. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we, that's why there's why there's other channels as well. So go sub to all of he's probably, he's probably already subbed to all of the other channels. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's go on to the next one. How do you determine good runes for both early game, mid game, and late game players? How will you decide if a rune is worth keeping or not? Um, if it makes sense on a unit, generally. Um, half the time you need speed. 
Okay, 90% of the time you need speed. A lot of times if it doesn't have speed or efficiency. If it doesn't have speed, if it has a lot of efficiency, um, it can be okay. And then as time progresses, you have to continually uh, raise your rune standards. I do have some videos that, um, like rune videos where we like craft runes and then we talk about like what runes to keep and what runes to sell and why what rune would be good uh, here or there. And that's, I would recommend to uh, watch some of those videos about like, room crafting or because i like i try to explain things on like why i'm doing this and why that's the reason it's not just like let's see if we get a good rune it's like explaining what i'm looking for in the different rune sets that's why i try to like craft some rage craft some will craft some uh some violent craft some swift craft some uh despair right those are the ones that i like to craft um i don't <laughs> i don't I, i'm not crafting uh endure runes but uh, yeah, and then and then they just have to like you have to progressively raise your standards over time, and then go through and clear like old runes out uh, as well, like the things that you keep early game. You're like when you max out your inventory, you guys are like what is that? What is maxing out your inventory? When you max out your inventory, eventually, wow, this video is gonna be an hour long. We're not even gonna get through barely any of the questions. Holy crap! Um, but yeah, I would I would recommend to watch one of those videos that goes like more in depth into it of like the rune crafting videos you can go to the videos tab on the channel and you can just scroll down until you find one of them you're like ah they're usually not great views because people are like i don't want to watch a rune crafting video but it's like it helps early game players like early and mid game players to assess like what what is good or not but either they have a lot of efficiency like hero or legend runes that have a lot of stats and roll well or most of the time you need speed um just the reality of the situation is that most of the time you actually need speed. You can get away on s with some things that don't have just speed, 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 speed. But uh, most of the time, you guys are like, wow, I can't believe that this dungeon team is actually working and not failing all the time. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, we got to move on to the next one because I feel like... Because there's uh, other like whole videos that are best at explaining that. Okay, so if you could do an updated meta teams featuring a three-man R5 build, that'd be pretty hot. I did, there's not really any meta thing that everyone is using this specific team, but I did a couple when it first, when 3-Man R5 came out, uh, I did do uh, a couple videos showing 3-Man R5s on different account, on this free-to-win account, on Asia server, on, uh, did I do on, no, not Asia server, wait, did I do on Asia, I don't know, I did a few 3-Man R5 uh, videos, I could do more if people, uh, if a lot of people want to see more 3-Man R5 videos, I could do more, but it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's basically just building R5 teams with, as long as you have the right things, as long as you have, like, damage dealers, you have cleansers, you have overall rune efficiency, so some tankiness even on the damage dealers as well, uh, healers, making sure you get the debuffs, um, attack power break, uh, defense break, uh, things like that, glancing hits are nice too, uh, heal block, because, you know, he's going to absorb your uh, buffs and, and, and heal himself. So, uh, yeah, so there, there's already some videos on there. Um, I know that YouTube is not showing every, like, if a video is not appealing to a lot of people, then YouTube will show it to less people overall after that. So if there's a video geared towards like early game players or late game players specifically, and it's not geared towards like everyone, then YouTube is not going to show it to everyone uh, because the click rate at the beginning is, is too low. It's just the unfortunate reality of the situation. So uh, I would recommend I would recommend subscribing to the channel, clicking that bell so that you get all of the notifications. Um, also, check out just the videos tab um, every once in a while, like maybe once every couple weeks or once a month or or whatever, and seeing if there's any videos that were that you never saw that are potentially interesting uh, to you. So, because uh, there's a lot of videos that people don't ever see. So, why do I enjoy Fedora and Lewis so much? Um, I don't know. <laughs> what are their odd... <laughs> that, makes, that makes one person on the entire server. Uh, what other odd interactions do you know of? Do you know how Tableau resets a Chroma attack bar? Yes. Um, I don't know why you enjoy, enjoy Fedora and Lewis so much. Maybe you just like playing with off-meta stuff. There's, there are people that like play. I like playing with off-meta stuff. I think it's fun. I also like playing with the Dark Ninja every 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 rta match in the world uh okay um wait was that a quick oh what other odd interactions do you know of odd interact i don't know what other odd interact usually if it's an odd interaction i'll like do a video on it um explain why arnold needs a buff hey it's feed us uh on skill three for those that don't own mo long and akaris 
Uh, so Arnold does HP based damage uh, with skill 3. Uh, so Fieras is just saying, because uh, isn't he 30% and, or did he get, he, he got a buff. With the buff, his heal block, right? He does a heal block now with skill 3. Um, so yeah, Mo Molo and Gakares is a dangerous combination, but uh, one of those with Arnold is not going to do as much uh, HP if you're fighting against a tankier unit. So he's probably just talking about a... Uh, actually, I think Arnold... Arnold could use like a buff on skill 2, I think. Is that skill 2? Skill 2 is just an AoE attack break. Unless, See, Arnold got buffed like a year ago something like that and i think it was just like the heal block on skill three but arnold just the, uh, arnold doesn't do as much hp based damage on uh on skill three fun enough is that these uh these mummies skill twos which we're got which we've been seeing the whole time the body roll does hp based damage as well it's just not a ton of hp based damage it also hurts them at this it's like molongi uh it hurts them at the same time but yeah uh, arnold could be that would be cool to see some more arnold uh in the meta that would be nice, especially against things like uh, Kinkies. So, uh, to give you an excuse to praise Comptos. Oh, God. Uh, if you want to break up typical ranting, what's your favorite change they made to the g I got to do these faster because this is already 20 minutes. I thought we were going to... Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite change they made to the game? Rift Beast, Two Ways, Dimension Predator. T I mean, I don't like the RNG factor of the Dimension Predator, but I've kind of just accepted, I started to accept it. Uh, TOA Hell is cool. I was going to do more TOA Hell content already. I think Two Ways is the best, uh, the best recent change uh, that they've made to the game. Two Ways are fantastic, giving these these uh, three stars more chance to shine and be just as good as, uh, as Nat Fives is fantastic. Uh, unless Lulu does terrible things to you in uh, RT. Lulu's not even the most, for me, Lulu's not the most toxic unit. I'm fine with someone drafting Lulu. I'm Verti Heal. <laughs> Verti Heal is the top. Verti Heal and Hey Gang. Those are the toxic ones. Those are the toxic ones. Uh, that's why that's so I just dra I just draft Verti Heal. Because <laughs> it's so toxic. I cannot deal with him. Um, so yeah, two ways are fantastic. I think it was a, a great job. I'll praise Contras. They did a great job with two ways. And I also like the fact that um, the uh, the rune farming for ancient rooms ancient rooms ancient runes is limited so that there's better quality runes but it's limited to a certain amount uh so people can't just farm all day all day all day every day on those which i think was uh, I, I think was good as well i because being me being in the industry back in the day understands like progression and things like that and 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 balancing so that was that was the right direction they did make the right call uh on that so we can't <laughs> update seven cannot have any more farming. People are just gonna just explode from they're already exploding. They've already exploded. Okay, I'm wondering how are you this love? I am not lovable. On a serious note, <laughs> can you explain how speed ticks work for everyone, please? There is a good I'll link it in the description. Uh, there is a good um, video that Alan Grown and Make It a Bud did that explains speed ticks. I cannot explain in, in like two minutes. I cannot explain speed ticks as good as they did. It's definitely worth a watch. Uh, you know, I, 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 I got to give them credit. They did a they did a great video on speed ticks. So if you guys want to make sure that you're uh, that you're tuning your units efficiently as far as speed is concerned, I would definitely recommend uh, definitely recommend that. Make it a bud does a fantastic job explaining it for everyone. So uh, I will leave a link in the description or in the in the things for you guys to uh, to take a look at. We what's the next one? Uh, I wish I could explain it more right now, but it's like, it's a at least 10 minute explanation. And we're already at 23 minutes. Oh my goodness. Uh, in which way would you rework the RNG on the game? I thought the changes toward despair and violent runes as well as maybe accuracy. I'd like to know other options. It'd be cool to have a rune set. I, I wish we had some new rune sets. Um, a rune set that, uh, that counters violent. Um, I think that would be a great addition to the game. I also think that um, I mean, violent procs are going to happen. Unfortunately, they... Comptos has made changes to, like, try to balance out in RTA the violent proc rates. I think that they need to do that in the other modes of the game as well. Uh, not just RTA. So they made it better in just one game mode. They, they saw, hey, this is a problem. This is broken. Let's fix it in just one place. <laughs> That's like having a table. It's like all four legs are smashed and splintered. Uh, let's just fix this one leg. <laughs> Everything should be fine. The, the table should be fine there. You just fix the one the one leg and then the rest of them are... Keep them broken. Just do that to the rest of the game. Come to us. 
<laughs> Arena offense, defense, Violent Prox, uh, limited, and then and Guild Wars, Guild Siege, Violent Prox, limited. They're like, but that would make people less angry, and we want them to be emotional. They want us to destroy our phones. I got some, oh my god, I was recording videos. There's a lot of videos that I just throw away. I was recording videos this week. And the one, I'm like, how is this, like, I'm like trying to count in my head. I'm like, that's not actually possible, the amount of violent procs that they actually got. I'm going to go rewatch those clips and like see what exactly was. It was just insane. They were just, they, 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 they just never stopped. They never stopped taking turns. And I was like, I can't even include this because I, I, I got way too pissed. I was like, I can't even include this, this thing. But this is like, like I'm tired of throwing away, like... I'm tired of throwing away those videos. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about that. But yeah, um, just balancing, balance the rest of the rest of the game. They already started it. They just never finished it. Do you have any plans to do computer game gameplay or review videos? I did computer game. Uh, so, well, is Genshin a computer game? Because we did Genshin videos on the, the other channel, youtubecom slash Um But yeah, it, it, it was supposed to be. <laughs> the original plans on the channel was uh, computer game uh, stuff. That was that was what it was supposed to be. Um, review videos. I do review. I, I do like first impressions, uh, gameplay kind of stuff for new games on again Bagelmon. But that's like, you know, that's why I that's what I've been trying to do on that channel since I can't put anything else aside from Summoners War on this channel until Summoners War like completely bites the dust and we change it to a channel of something com totally different, like some whatever awesome new game comes out, then we'll just do that. But, um, but yeah, that, that's something we've been doing on the Bagelmon channel, so that's, that's kind of where any new gaming stuff is going to be on that channel. So, because it has to be. Heck, why don't you put it on this one? Because it has to be! The YouTube algorithm! I am a slave to the YouTube algorithm! Uh, so what is something that has given you inspiration over the years? Whether it be the last two years or the last 20 years can be in regards to life, games, etc. Give me inspiration? Over the years? Retiring. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I probably will never retire. Um, I would like to make an impact on the world. I would like to make people's lives happier. I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm necessarily doing that nowadays, but uh, that was initially one of the, one of the goals of the channel is to make people smile every day. Nowadays, I just feel like I rant all the time, but, but that was the original goal. That was one of the original goals. Like, even if they're laughing at me, like at least, they're laughing and it brightens their day. So, uh, but yeah, life is short. I keep getting reminded that life is short all the time. And uh, I kind of want to just do something positive, have some kind of positive lasting effect uh, on it going forward. Like doing the food channel. Oh my God, baby, if you rant about the food channel, just make food videos. Spend so much time ranting about food channel. Could just do, 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 do food videos. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Denver, Colorado. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I mean, then I, I really want to move to Denver, Colorado, or I have always, it's expensive there. New York, but it's expensive there too. Uh, what's your next move? Actually, in upstate New York is not that expensive. I found that out, but it's, uh, taxes are worse, I guess, uh, is what I was told. What's your next most wanted to a fam? There's a lot. <sighs> Garudas would be cool. Vagabonds would be cool. Salamanders would be cool. Uh, serpents would be cool. Hellhounds would be, <laughs> Hellhounds would be potentially dangerous if they get a two-way. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, I would, you're, I, I want to kind of travel to Europe. I want to travel to a lot of places just to see what it's like, what these different places are about. So Japan, Korea, Korea, so I guess smack around, come to us. They're like, no, don't come to Korea. We give you LD5, stay there, stay there. Don't come to Korea, please, please. Um, so yeah, but I, I Denver, Colorado. Colorado in general is gorgeous. If you guys haven't seen Colorado, haven't been to Colorado, it's like, I don't know, it's like this different experience. It's amazing. That's why it's so expensive to live there because it's, it's a fantastic place. Um, so yeah. Uh, why are you not live stream Saturday morning? We stopped live streaming Saturday morning summons a long time ago. Um, a lot of times I was just responding to people in chat, which was not very fun to look at and listen to for people that were just watching it on YouTube. Uh, cause they were like, well, he's just interacting with chat. There's nothing I really need. Like, this is not in, he's not interacting with me, the viewer. He's interacting with this, whoever was on, uh, on the live stream at that, uh, at that point. So that's why I don't do that. But, uh, but yeah, we, we stopped live streaming Saturday morning. I don't know, for whatever reason, people still, still think that we do that. 
Um, I stopped doing that so years ago. Years and years, like not even recently, like not even like three months ago. Like years ago, we stopped live streaming Saturday morning summons. But um, uh, yeah, um, more interested in the what needs a buff or nerf episode since RTA is ending soon. Hopefully, my Pater gets some. Pater's fine. Hopefully, my Pater gets some love. What do you want him to do? Just win the match as soon as you pick him. He was, he was much stronger in the uh, in the, in the Gany Hathor. But uh, right now, he's not as strong since it's more aggressive, um, more aggressive control instead of just like so like not soft control, uh, control with less damage. It used to be control with less damage, and then just the matches would take longer in the more Gany Hathor meta. Um, but now it's more. They're going to control you, but they're also going to do a lot of damage with the additional artifacts, additional damage and artifacts, and Oki and uh, Shang Pung and things like that. So, yeah. So that's just Pater is is still a good unit. He just makes more sense in a meta like that versus a meta like this. So there's, I mean, I gotta side with some of the people that are like have the dark the dark chicken, the dark phoenix. I'm like, I think that one needs uh, like that one and like. The, the the dark Valkyria. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a more impactful uh, balance patch coming up than uh, the last couple. But hopefully it actually makes sense. It needs to. It needs to because if they do another crap balance patch, that's like that's another nail in the coffin for the game. They really they really need to do it. Uh, update seven. Really needs to be good. Uh, Ninety eight percent of the people stuck in progression after mid game because too exhausting upgrading runes. How do you come with a better solution? Just like runes that like upgrade faster, upgrade instantly, don't fail. Like just upgrading faster, and I I agree. It shouldn't take hours to upgrade runes. Uh, puckering pickle toe <laughs> shouldn't take hours to upgrade runes. Um, yeah, and also it shouldn't take for it, it shouldn't take years to even get the runes that you that you need to even be able to play at a reasonable level. So that's why it'll never be an esport. Because there are people that are like, but if you go into Counter Strike and you have actual talent, you can be pretty good in, uh, and, and you can do well, uh, and you can progress, and you can and be competitive within what, weeks, months. Um, in Summoner's War, you could have actual talent, and you can, might not progress for years uh, unless you spend thousands and thousands of dollars on rune packs and reaps, and that's uh, you still won't progress for years. So. Because you'll still have to farm for the arena tower, so uh, yeah, it's just it's 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 a different culture, and they love the things that take for they love the games that take forever to play and never actually end, and uh, will suck up decades of your life. That's not that's not an exaggeration. That they love that stuff there. They love that stuff there. They love just obsessing over one game and making that their life. Um, that's why Koreans are very good at esports. How have you been feeling after the surgery? Did it work good? It worked. I was hoping that it would work uh, better, but uh, thank you. I was hoping that it would work better, but uh, it, it, it was good. It was an improvement. I was hoping for more of an improvement, but uh, but yeah, no regrets. No regrets as far as that's concerned. What are the Nat three units that you can that can be nice in Siege Guild Wars instead uh, outside of the popular ones? That can be nice in Siege and Guild Wars outside of the popular ones. I think Bella is underrated. I'm trying to think of the other ones that are. Uh, that are potentially underrated. I think uh, Fiery Vagabond is cool, but I don't know if he's actually could be too useful um, in like high level anything. I think Bell is an underrated unit though. I think some of the fairies are pretty good. Could be could two way fairies. Not too many people actually using them. I think maybe like the maybe the Water War Bear might be a little bit more useful than people are giving credit for. Um, like some of the two ways, uh, maybe the Wind Werewolf. High base speed also increases cooldowns on the enemies. So some of the things that people don't really get. I mean, I do. I already do videos on that. The the the, the free the free to win. These ones right here. These ones right here. Um, but yeah, I, I, the things that I kind of show on uh, on videos. Recording my account, Sephiroth. Uh, I really like to try to go to turn two teams. I use the Wind Gargoyle a lot in combo with Rakan, Suiki, and Iliana or Lulu, but it doesn't always work out well. Am I using a comp that's bad to get? Well, turn twos are never going to have high, super high win rates. They're just always going to be at a disadvantage because your opponent's going to get the first turn. They're going to open, and opener always gets more, has more of an advantage to win. Am um, I using comp that's bad together, or should I create something else? You need uh, more passive units. You're still going to be easily control cleaved. 
you're still gonna be easily control cleaved. You gotta you gotta use more passive units. You gotta use things like Verti Heels, you gotta use things like uh Verti Heel, Leo, Juno, uh I mean Molly, Chroma, things like that that uh that increase the opponent's chance of landing a glancing hit. Um what else? Miho's. I mean, Miho's not really. Oh, why, why am I doing that? Miho's really not that strong uh, anymore with the. Uh, so I don't know why I said Miho, but things with passes. Things with passes that stop uh, enemies from CCing you and stop enemies from killing you. Because the Wind Gargoyle and Rakan and Ileana and things like that, like, they're. It's just. It's much easier. Even Sweeky. Um, it kind of takes you some getting used to actually using Sweeky uh, better, but you need, you need other things like. Like Molly would be great for you. It's 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 like that's that that team is not really gonna do get amazing results either way. Just turn two already is not gonna get amazing results using off meta stuff. It's off meta for a reason because it has a, it's less efficient units to actually use and win with. Um, so it's never gonna be as good as the uh, the the meta things because meta things are just more efficient. They they have better stats. They have more multi hits for additional damage. They have higher activation rates. There's the reason that there's tier lists. And you can win with things that are low on the tier lists. It's just easier to win with things higher on the tier list because they have more efficiency uh, in one way or another, or make more sense in the meta one way or another. So um, yeah, I would I would just more practice, more practice seeing what units uh, if you can sub out some of those units for other things, um, and more practice. That's actually one of the big things that people don't do enough of is just practice. They're like, why can't these five? I want these five units. They're off meta. Uh, also have bad runes, and uh, I'm, I'm picking the same units every match, regardless of what the enemy picks. And also, I've done uh, 30 wings this season, and uh, why do I have a 40% win rate? It's like, it's not obvious. <laughs> it's, it's not obvious why. I feel like that should be a little bit obvious. Um, but yeah, you just, basically, if you're going to take turn two, you have to protect yourself against getting controlled, and you have to protect yourself against getting cleaved, and control cleave as well, so... I'll just just pick Birdie Hill. Make, make him fast and tanky and lots of revenge and good resistance and make him super annoying and Birdie Hill will basically just win matches because he will win matches. So he will just win matches to win matches. Uh, Summoner's World question: What's the one? Th oh my God! This is thirty six minutes, guys. Speed round. A summoner question. What is the one? This is my fault. It's not anyone else's fault. What's one thing you'd like to see implemented in the game that you would actually make you excited to play it for another year? M more units. The 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 RTA changing the RTA game mode, like I said earlier, which they're never gonna do. But like the Hearthstone one, um, just units coming out. Like if they did four units, like every month, that would be crazy. Like that would be that would be crazy, right? Not like even like like Robos. And then like uh, something else the next month, like just not not like Robo's and Sky Surfers, but like every month four new units. That would give us forty eight new units at the end of the year. So um, yeah, just new units that actually change the meta. Um, and then an arena mo an arena mode would be would be super cool. Like an uh, like like the Hearthstone arena where you just you you pick out of like one of one of five different monsters, one of four, one of three different choices, and then like that's what you add to your deck. Right, so that would be uh, that. That would change a lot of stuff, but they would never do that. Regular question: This may be answered before, uh, but I'm not sure. Do you have any culinary education, or are you self-taught? Tell by I didn't go to culinary school. I can tell by your OMG food videos that you're well versed in the kitchen, but wasn't sure if you taught yourself or not. I didn't go to culinary school, but I did work in the industry for oh crap, so many years. I a lot of times I have a lot of jobs at the same time, so that's why. You're like, Bigley, you've had a million jobs. Uh, a lot of times they just, the this, this same time. But um, yeah, I've worked at, at a handful of restaurants at least. So yeah, that's, that's, that's why. That's why. But it's different. It's different cooking on YouTube than cooking in actual restaurants. Because on YouTube, it's, it's better to be a filmmaker that just happens to cook and you can just keep editing things out to make it look like you're you're good in the industry um you got to cut a lot of corners you got to do a lot of things sloppy because you have certain things need to get done fast 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 so you have to be doing a lot of different things at the same time so things may not be done perfectly exactly how they need to be but on youtube they don't want to actually see how it really works in an actual kitchen they want to see how it 
imaginary works in uh, Dumpling Magic Candy Land. So, so yeah, that's the, that's. Oh my God, I got I got. There's this one of the the Family Guy video, the Family Guy food video. I got so much crap for putting. Um, for putting pop tarts in the oven instead of a toaster. So I actually did not have a toaster because if I want to toast toast, you put it in the oven because that's what you do at a restaurant is there is no there's <laughs> I mean some restaurants have toasters I suppose like the the piddly ones, but like the good restaurants if you need to toast something, it goes in the oven or it goes under a salamander uh which is like a a very very hot like a uh, like an uh, like a, basically a broiler kind of thing, right? So it goes in something like that, and you, th so I just I'm like, oh, it needs to be toasted. Let me put it in the oven because I've had spent so much time in restaurants that that's the answer. But everyone on YouTube was like, what what is wrong with you? You you're a psychopath for putting toast in the oven. Oh my god, now I'm spitting on myself. Psychopath putting toast in the oven, even though that's. How the, you're a psychopath for eating toasted, uh, <laughs> oven toasted bread. Guys, never go to a restaurant. You'll be so offended. Uh, we love and appreciate you being able to content creator. Thank you. Uh, would you feel, what's up Lance? Uh, would you feel comfortable allowing us to love and appreciate the uh, bagel by, appreciate you bagel the person by doing vlogs and life videos? I think that just like, I mean, I don't even know if people are going to watch this one because it's just answering uh, questions. People, it's going to be like the worst video I've done this month. It's going to get like 13 views. I'm going to be like, even the people that ask the questions didn't even watch the video. Um, so yeah, uh, I could do more vlogs. It's just that I probably should. With the amount of times I re-record Summoner's War content, it's probably going to be easier to do vlogs at this point because there's just so much stuff that gets thrown out. Oh my god, it's crazy. I, it's it's like it's very stressful the amount of stuff he goes like oh he did a, he did another summon video I'm like I did another summon video because the three or four PvP videos didn't come out right so I had to scrap them and scrap them and scrap them and scrap them and then like I do like my own PvP like try hard PvP is not like fun PvP it's like use the same units all the time it's the same defenses the same offenses the same RTA team all the time so uh, yeah but uh, I mean I. I could do like a couple here and there vlogs. I just don't want to kill my channel more than it's already, more than it's already killed. Uh, might have some vlogs coming up soon. Uh, what's the story behind choosing the name Schizophrenic Gamer? This is a I knew this one was coming. Um, this is because initially it was supposed to be just funny, fun gameplay videos. And I was going to do different characters in the beginning. So like Schizophrenic made the most sense as to the name of the, what the original channel concept was. Was like, let's play Minecraft as this character who's like a kid. And then let's play you guys like a kid. We know who it is, Vega. We know who you're talking about. Um, or let's like do this and it's like you, I'm pretending to like dressed up like an old person or like this other thing where I'm dressed like or different cartoon characters right like the like Malaka show basically right so imagine Malaka show but like with a bunch of different games like Minecraft and Fortnite and Grand Theft Auto and Overwatch and like all those things but like characters like Malaka playing that that was the original uh, idea for the channel so that's why it was called Schizophrenic Gamer uh, instead of like Jew Bagel Summoner's War or whatever. I didn't even think I was going to be playing Summoner's War as channel content. That's why I just like named the, my my name in the game is like Jew Bagel because it was just the first thing. It was like the middle of the night. It was the first thing I thought of. I'm like, okay, what's my what was my old uh, what was my old handle for? Um, that's another question that people ask all the time. Is like, why are you need why are you name uh, Jew Bagel? Um, it was just a nickname someone gave me a long time ago. I'm not Jewish or Bagel. But it was a nickname someone gave me a long time ago. And then it's just like I started playing another video game after that. And I was like, oh, let me just put Jew Bagel in there because it's funny, whatever. Uh, and then like the next game is like, oh, let me, I don't know what to, to name myself. Let me put Jew Bagel again. Let me put, like, it's just like some of these names like that people eventually start YouTube channels with. I'm not the only one, but some of these uh, some of these other YouTubers is like, they would have chose a different name if they thought they were going to be... <laughs> they thought their YouTube channel is actually going to actually amount to anything. So, uh, I'm sure Penguin Zero uh, was not intending for that to be his YouTube channel specifically when he started. But, uh, how do you decide what you're farming at any point in time? There's so many dungeons, not enough time. I find them only ever in GB12. Um, I think it's... Uh, what I do is I will rotate through them. 
if I feel like I'm trying to do more of an aggressive, fast, like if you're going for all cleaves, just fast cleave, fast cleave, fast cleave, then do, uh, do a GB12. If you're going for um, so, like more of a bruiser comp, then you're gonna want things like uh, violent runes, will runes. Um, I just, I honestly, I just farm all of them. Um, I think that there is also a point to be made if you spend money um, and buy rune packs and things like that. You could just go for like farming um, giants and necro, and then just not do very much of dragons if at all, and just buy dry, uh, buy violent rune packs. And because that's really. <laughs> For the most part, that's the only thing that you really need from dragons is violent, 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 violent. So you can be aggressive with, uh, excuse me, so you can be aggressive with buying violent rune packs and just not farming uh, dragons too much, which some people do. Um, also, a lot of people at this point in the game, um, a lot of end game players just farm artifact dungeons and not even giants and dragons and necro anymore because they're like, yeah, I've been farming now. They're just, you know, I'm not going to get anything new. I'll just get reaps. Uh, to try to make this stuff that I already have better. Um, yeah, so they just do a lot of artifact dungeons is what I've been noticing. So, how do you do? Uh, so, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's there's too many dungeons to farm and not enough time in the week, which is kind of the problem that Summoner's Wars had over the past several years is that that's just... Oh my god, 45 minutes for real? Holy crap. A little good artifact video explaining how the stats of the artifacts affect the unit and how it works when applied. Maybe good examples of artifacts. We could do that. I don't know if everyone's going to enjoy that, but that could definitely... Let me put the, write that down. Wasn't there another one I was supposed to remember to do? <laughs> oh, my goodness. But yeah, uh, we could do an artifact video. That That's not that. Th th I don't have to worry about RNG in the artifact video. I'd be like, oh, I just record the video and then it's done. So that's probably a good... Oh my god, we need to wrap this up. How do you find when you can move on from blue and purple runes? Players at Fighter 2, how does he know what to keep from blue runes? Because these days, speed is not the only stat that matters. Efficiency is key. But how do early, uh, early mid players define where to draw the line for selling, keeping runes and artifacts? That's if they farm. I would say, also, why why is he asking this question? He's been playing for a long time. Etienne's been playing for a long time. Um, so I would say, here's here's the best way to, to do things. Um, farm your brains out. Max out your rune inventory. Then sort by the... Um, sort by the efficiency, the, the, the grade. And then, like, the, the worst ones, the ones that have the worst value, like, sell that 20%... Um, and then go far more and then go far more and always just keep selling the lowest whatever the 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent um and then continue uh continue farming if you don't like if you don't know right off the bat like looking at one uh what if it's if it's good or bad but again i would say to take a look at this to see this the, I, I i made videos on this about like crafting runes and talking about why these are good or bad um, and then you guys are like, I don't want to watch it. Also, here's the question I have. I'm like, well, you would have the answer if you watched the rune. Uh, if you watched the video. <laughs> if you watched the video. Okay. Um, how are you doing so far in your personal life? <sighs> Always struggles and anxieties. Are you happy how the weeks and months have gone? I played Summoner's War for seven years. How could I possibly be happy? I could have been the. I could have made something of myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Papago, you're one of the, the biggest Summoner's War channels. I'm like. Yeah, but it's Summoner's War. That means that as soon as the game dies, I my identity is 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 collapsed and I am nothing. <sighs> There's a lot of anxiety uh, regarding that, especially because I see all the data on the back end. You guys don't see the data. I mean, I try to tell you, but you guys never believe me. But it's not looking good for the future of Summoner's War. It's, it's already, I mean, you guys can already see that it's not looking good in general because there's been less players, uh, less interaction, uh, less excitement, things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's just been it's just been declining for a while. COVID actually saved Summoner's War and a lot of different mobile games uh, from, from, ta from tanking even worse. But, I mean, everything's opening up now, so it's only a matter of time. No more people are going to keep... Uh, Keep leaving and leaving, leaving like like it's already happened. But people have been, you know, tired from years of years of farming and not getting, not making any improvements, not making any changes, um, unless they just change to obsessive mode of like I need to be the best and like obsess over it and spend and spend and obsess and and, and go into overdrive. 
So any of the people that, that, that are like in overdrive mode are like beyond burned out. So speaking of burned out, I talked to Foxy the other day. So uh, lols. But uh, but yeah, we need to. That's why we need to branch out our horizons and do things and do other content for other things uh, that have more potential for the future after Summoner's War is done. Will Malaka be making an appearance for Chris? Uh, he needs to, because I don't know why we don't do enough Mal or don't do more Malaka shows. Right, write that down too. All these good ideas, man. All right. Good idea. Good, good. Mo some, some things I just legitimately forget about, and then there's all these. I was posting notes of all these different ideas. Okay, let's go on to the next one. What's your perfect? So what's up, Oid? Uh, from your favorite guild member, Oid. My perfect Sunday is like having like tacos and uh, working on videos. My perfect Sunday would probably working on OMG food videos. It's always the dream. If you guys couldn't tell by now, that's always the dream. That's what's constantly on my mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. But as soon as that video starts. Uh, this, uh, as soon as this channel starts like actually getting content, I'm actually able to produce content for that channel. It's just a matter of like I never have enough time to do it. I have plenty of equipment, I have plenty of ideas, plenty of recipes, been practicing, been collecting clips that I can use in there too. Uh, but yeah, can you explain how exactly how Leo works, including how he interacts with speed leads, attack bar boosters, etc. He just limits everything speed to his speed. If your attack bar, uh, like if for, for example, if your attack bar is boosted, um, then your attack bar is boosted. It's still attack bar boosts still work fine, but everything is limited to the amount of speed that he has. So, for example, like something like Savannah or uh, like Maron or like any of the Beast Riders, Rakshasas, things like that. He will uh, their damage is based on speed. So them having if he's at like 110 speed, then that's the amount that's the damage that that's the amount of speed that's calculated on their on on those units. And that's the amount of damage that they'll do based on the the lower Leo's speed. Uh, the calculation of the speed after Leo's passive has limited them. So that's one of the reasons Leo is a, a counter to uh, counter to the like the light chimera. People were using uh, Leo's against that. People were using Leo's against the beast riders. So Leo's just been so much more popular uh, nowadays. But yeah, Leo uh, attack bar boosters basically. Or just do their thing regardless of Leo. Um, it because Leo's just limiting the speed. He's not limiting the attack bar boost. That would be Tian Lang. So, uh, and then like the turn order still continues. Like after Leo gets his turn, because Leo always moves first, and after he gets his turn, everything else moves after that in order of like what the speed normally would be, right? So, but he still always moves first. Uh, do you ever get bored of the game? <laughs> Uh, I was born as someone. I still find ways to make it fun. Um, I try <laughs> to find ways to make it fun, but yeah, and that's been that has been a thing for years. Top three units that need a. We should do this uh, when we do summons. Is what we should do. We should do answer these questions that when we do summons. Top three units that need a nerf or a buff. Ah, give that. Give the LD five. Give give the old LD fives. Um, buffs. The ones that do you guys notice this team is has not failed once. I just want to I just want to make that clear. This team has not failed once. Um, top three units that need it. I, I, I like Jara, uh, the Dark Valkyria, um, some of the other things that are like really old LD units that we've been saying need a buff, need a buff, need a buff. Every time a balance patch is coming and they never get a buff and they never get a buff and they never get a buff. Um, some of the really terrible LD threes. The, real the things that we totally forgot existed as well. Anything that you never see, ever, and you don't even know the name of it, that needs a buff. So. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, bored of the game. That's that ha that's that's already uh, bored of the game, tired of the game, frustrated of the game. This happened years ago, and I just keep going. Because it's your if you make a job for yourself playing video games on YouTube, you don't quit the job to that you've created that's like most people's dream job is playing video games on YouTube. You're like, you don't just quit that because you're like bored of the game. You just keep going. So, <laughs> like, man, that sounds depressing. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, what would be good things that Summoner's War needs to add and prove in order to get more players to play Summoner's War? That's not, they're not going to get back to the numbers that they, that they had before. It's just 
it's a different environment. Like any new players that they could potentially have, they have to compete against all the other games that are out that are better. Um, and, and, and all the other games that have come out that have improved on what Summoner 4 has done um, after that. And, and any new player that comes into the game has to compete with people that have been playing for seven years that already have all the runes, all the monsters, all the everything, all the reaps, all the towers, all, all, all this different stuff, all the six stars. And they're coming in, they're like, they're going to be crap for years until they get to that point. And then by the point that they get as good as the high level players are now, the high level players are going to be even better. So um, that's why these gotcha games are not intended to last for seven years. This is not a thing that happens. Summoner's War has had a crazy success by even lasting this long. Um, but yeah, it, there, there's really not... They can keep doing more, I mean, collabs and things like that, but collabs with other popular IPs. But as far as getting people to enter and play a game and start to play a game where they are at a massive seven-year disadvantage as soon as they download and start the game, that's not, they're not gonna, they're not ever going to be ever under any circumstance be as big as they used to be. It's just not gonna happen. It's, it's all downhill from here, guys. The best, the best thing that they can do is to just try to retain the player base that they already have and keep them happy because they're not because it's going to be an uphill battle it's going to be an uphill battle and also impossible to get a large amount of new players playing the game it's just not going to happen um so unless they make some drastic thing where like all runes are deleted from the that would just stop all the current players from playing uh so yeah um it's just these games are not intended to last seven years so the, just the fact that they've lasted so long is is impressive uh to begin with uh, how are you still invested, motivated to play Summoner for? Because it's my job. <laughs> I've been having ups and downs in the last two years now, but I can't bring myself to start the game up. Nothing excites me anymore. Just a question on how I experience this feeling. Every single day I experience this feeling. Um, yeah, every single day I experience this feeling, but there's a quota. And you have to get videos out and you have to keep doing it because if you have a job where making videos on a video game. I mean, I've made 5,000 videos in the game. Like, if you think, like, Bagels, I can't believe he's not bored of the game or tired of making more videos. He just did 5,000 already. Like, no, 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 no. I've been bored. I've been tired. I've wanted to play other games. This is so many games I have not even played because it's so much time uh, doing Summoner's War stuff. Um, yeah, uh, it's just, it's just always, I'm always just tired. <laughs> always just tired. Like, I need to do other stuff with my life. Seven years of playing Summoner's War. It's... When it's your job, that's what you do. So, um, that's just that's just how it is. Uh, what speed should I aim for to reach each arena and world arena grade? This is a common misconception of like, oh, you're this speed, that means you should be Guardian 1. You're this speed, that means you should be Conqueror 1. It's not about the speed, it's about how fast can you hit uh, defenses, um, how successful can you be hitting defenses, uh, how, how little do you get... Um, or you said World Arena, actually. Um, it, it really is not about the speed if you are doing, like, a turn two bruiser team. Um, and even if you're doing a turn one team, like, if you are not fast enough with this unit, uh, if you're not fast enough with your Chiwu, build in a Sheer or a Bernard or something like that. Um, or a Triton, right? So it's not, it's not about, it's not about you, you, you have this speed, you are at this, uh, or this rank. Uh, also, there's people that uh, are well over 320, 330 speed that are sitting there farming fighter players. So it's really <sighs> the best thing that you can do is improve your efficiency, practice more, have more counters for different meta teams, learn how to counter control teams, learn how to counter cleave teams, learn how to counter uh, tanky bruiser teams, um, practice more, do more wings. If you have a 60% win rate, and you always have a 60% win rate, just keep keep queuing. Because if you have a 100% win rate and you do one match, you are garbage rank. <laughs> I'm not saying you're garbage. I'm saying you're at a garbage rank. Uh, whereas if you have a 55% win rate and you do 1,000 uh, wings, you're going to keep climbing. You're going to keep climbing. You're going to be Guardian. 
right? 55% win rate versus a 100% win rate. Just because you do more wings. You just have to keep doing wings. And keep doing wings is just going to make you better by practicing more, practicing more, practicing more. It's not about a specific speed, because even if you are 400 speed, if your opponent brings a Leo, your speed doesn't matter at all. If your opponent brings a uh, Leo Vertiheel, and if you're 400 speed, the Vertiheel might not do too much. Uh, if you're 350 speed, for example, which is crazy fast, blazingly fast, ridiculous fast, uh, which would have to be like on an Ashir or a Wunsa or something like that. Which is like really kind of impossible. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, if if your Wunsa gets revenged by a Vertiheel, or if they pick a Leo, then it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Uh, or if, like, for example, uh, opponent brings a Revenge Iris or Revenge uh, Juno, and they revenge, and then Juno boosts up her attack age, and then she does her AoE and strip stuns your entire team, then it doesn't matter what, what speed you are. So it's not just about you are this speed, you get this rank. Completely. This is another thing that uh, I just mentioned Foxy not too long ago. Uh, this is another thing that he was very adamant at, uh, about as well. It's like it's not about what specific speed you are. The speed does not determine the rank. The practice, the gameplay, the, the experience, and, 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 and hustling is going to determine uh, the rank. So, I mean, the speed does help, right? Uh, if you are 290, you're not going to get G1. If you're 290 with your, your speed cleave, not going to get G1. Um... Unless you'd something crazy, it's not gonna happen. It's not, you definitely got to get faster, but uh, but yeah, it's about more than just speed. So that's a common misconception. Uh, if I recall correctly, you mentioned a few times in the past that you used to work in the gaming industry. If you don't mind shedding more light on this matter, I'm a bit curious what specifically you were doing. I was I worked on a lot of like kids games and things like that, like educational stuff, kids games, Disney stuff, Fisher Price stuff, and then I also had my own uh, small indie thing, which I did. Not necessarily kid kid things, not necessarily like Fisher Price things, um, but did more educational stuff, but geared towards a uh, an older audience than than little kids. Uh, programming, marketing, graphical design, or something else. I have experience in all of those things. Progr I have experience in programming, uh, years of experience doing that. I also have experience doing marketing for other uh, other things as well, um, other businesses, graphic design for other businesses also. I did a lot of things in, in life, but uh, but yeah, as far as like actually working in the gaming industry, it was mostly like for kids, teenagers, um, and and kind of more edu not always educational stuff, but a lot of it was educational stuff. So a lot of it was also not educational. What did I do? What did I do? Uh, what are your favorite is two star awakenable? non 2 a monsters what would you use them for can you do a demo what are some of your favorite passes favorite pa i mean the the mummy passives are pretty cool i like jolton passive uh that's pretty cool favorite passives i uh, probably the normal ones the ones that are good verting <laughs> verting <here. laughs> a favorite and least favorite passive at the same time um Two-star awakenable non-2A monsters. Garudas are pretty cool. Hellhounds are pretty cool. Um, Salam I think the same things that I that I said earlier that uh, should be uh, the next two A's. Uh, I think those would be those would be those are the the better ones. Can you do a serious sort of like beginner's guide for PvP. Beginner's guide to PvP. I mean RTA should not be for beginners though. Nice to see for you play siege offense. I did that. <laughs> I do that all the time. I do these things all the time. Siege offenses and defenses for mid-game players. I talk, I do videos on this. You gotta watch the videos. Go to the video section and look through them and see what's interesting. Um, some arena RTA teams for people just starting to get into PvP. People who are looking to push an arena. Um, if you're just looking to do RTA, just get into RTA. Uh, do do a cleave team and do a ton of wings and just start learning. Just to start learning through experience. Um, not the G3, more like C2. Um, Lucian, just just fast aggressive Lucian things. Also, I did the beginners grind. We did PvP. We pushed to uh, where? Did, what did, rank did we actually get? It wasn't. C, it was higher than C1. Was it C3? What rank did we actually get in beginners grind? When we did, uh, when we did our Lucian things with beginners grind, uh, and we also did RTA in the beginners grind. <laughs> we did that stuff already. 
Um, yeah, you just gotta. I think maybe maybe you just haven't seen all the all the videos. Um, so, which area of the game is the most efficient for mana farming? What counts is if you are having a problem with mana, then you are not farming enough runes, and you have to farm the crap out of dungeons. Giants, dragons, necro, necro is going to be the best for uh, for um, mana farming. But yeah, if you are having problems with mana, that means you're upgrading too much crap uh, crap runes, uh, and you need to raise your standards for what you actually upgrade and use. Um, and you are not farming enough dungeons, so you gotta farm farm the dungeons more. Because that's the, that's the the big red flag. Like if you don't have mana, the big red flag is that you are not farming dungeons. You're upgrading too many crappy runes. Because um, if you're if you're limiting the amount of stuff that you upgraded, you would have more mana from that. If you're farming more, you'd have more mana from just selling all the crap runes. So it's it's kind of a both. Uh, both in the same thing. Both will give you, both pieces of the puzzle will give you more mana. What counts as life drain? Uh, like, for example, Leica skill one, where like any any vampire effect, Vertiheal skill one, Leica skill one as well, um, vampire runes. So those are those are the life drain. Uh, I have so many questions. After 18 months off the game, off the game, of the game or off the game? Gladly I have guilty that are helping with the PV. Oh. <laughs> that just means the video is way too long. That just means the video is way too long. Oh my god. Cheese and crackers, guys. So many questions after 18 months off the game. I'm changing the battery. And I gotta do this because if I... Uh, I will just leave this thing on. So. Uh, Guild, did that help me with the PvE team? My question, can you show me a few meta teams on Guild Wars and Siege and how to... Re this is uh, another question for Guild Wars Siege meta things. Um, yeah, uh, may as well do it. I mean, if you guys, if you, I'm just, I'm going to keep writing on these. Um, but here's the thing. I did a video just like two days ago, <laughs> like two days ago on this. So let's stick that back up there. No, stick that back up there. Okay. I won't stick that back up there then. I'll do it later. Uh... But yeah, I did. I already did videos on this, uh, actually. So gotta gotta watch. I, I literally did it a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. I mean, a, a couple days ago. A couple days ago. A couple days ago. Uh, would you do any music content or bring back Omg Food? Omg Food. I never consider it dead. I'm just like always like gotta do a video on Omg Food. Gotta do a video on Omg Food. I did a video four weeks ago. It was just a short video. Um, because there was so much that I had to cut out. I was like, people are going to complain about this. There's so much stuff that I got to cut out, so I just made it into a 60-second short. Uh, I like that better than some wonderful content. Me too. It shows your other gifts and food always. I agree. You can't lose in food. I mean, people will yell at you for doing it the wrong, the way they don't think it should be done. But, um, but yeah, food, food, uh, everyone can relate to food. Even if they stop playing a mobile game, they're like, yeah, I like food. Um, but yeah, uh... Music content, though, there's a lot of music YouTubers. I would like to play more music uh, personally, but uh, I don't really have any interest in doing music content on YouTube. Watch, I'm like, hey, I made it in music channel, guys. Um, so, uh, what kind of friendly units? But yeah, food vi food videos, That's 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 got to happen. That's got to happen. What friendly units have uh, can be used to farm runes from all dimension holes? Wow, we still, this is... There's still so many more. We didn't even do that many. We we're like 50 through. There's hundreds of these questions. <laughs> what friendly means can be used to farm runes from all dimension holes? Uh, all the dimension holes? Um, well, they, they all have different teams. Fran is good in a lot of them. Uh, Vigor is good in a lot of them. Spectra. Uh, what else? Shaman. Um... Yeah, generally those those units are pretty good. Some of the those, some of the more meta two way units are are good there, but those I would say are a good place to start. But all the different ones have different teams. You can't just use the same, um, you can't use the same team for every single uh, every single thing. It's like literally impossible since they have different requirements on units. That's the point of the dimension the 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 farming and the dimension hole is that they w Comptos wanted you to use different teams for all the different dungeons so having a team that would work in all of the dungeons would completely be the opposite of what the intent was so that's why people are like no i want to use the same team for all the dungeons <laughs> so that was the reason i think that was good that they did that to force people to enjoy more units build more units you know people a lot of people want to build all the different units so that actually you know helps people out by doing that 
uh, or, or gives people the opportunity to do that. Uh, how do you prioritize rebranding monsters? I have so many monsters built and so many were ruined before I knew anything. How to play the game is really overwhelming to fix them. Meta build. Focus on one team at a time. Uh, every week, just focus on like, okay, this week I'm going to ruin my arena offense evolution. Next week I'm going to ruin my arena offense of like some kind of cocky cleave, right? Uh, next week I'm going to ruin my arena defense. Next week I'm going to ruin this one siege team. So just focus on like a little one thing at a time for like a week. Uh, maybe even two weeks if you're like, ah, oh, it's not what I want it to be. But just focus on less uh, at any given time. Just decide, I, I'm, I'm, this is what I want to have a goal for this week. And not try to focus on re a 100 monsters. Just focus on, like, this specific little team. Uh, ruin it together. And then when you're done, move on to the next one. Uh, really overall, trying to fix the meta builds. Change over time. Farming gets better runes. Do you have any tips for keeping track of the runes? Tips for keeping track of the rune. I mean, the 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 game like the rune management tool is uh is the best way to do that. You could also uh, sort by obtained. You could sort by grade, uh, which would help to like the ones at the bottom on that list is going to be the less efficient ones that you might want to get rid of, and then also the ones that are obtained uh, more most recently are the ones that you just had from auto farming, which a lot of times you actually like you go to sleep and you have uh, due to runes and you need to toss those, uh, or the ones that are on the bottom of the um, the obtained list are gonna be the ones that you had from very beginning of the game, which may be the least efficient because your rune standards were a lot lower back then. Um, so those could also be some for uh, deletion. Uh, since it's been a while, how have you been doing both physically and mentally since your surgery? I'm always crazy. Thank you for asking, Spud Stud. Um, physically and mentally. Physically, I need to get to the gym. Another Ted run of no losses, guys. It's almost like the team is good. <laughs> so, you guys, like, stop trying to tell us to build. I'm not trying to tell you guys to build a team. I'm just saying um, that a lot of you assume that these teams don't work, and you're like, "This is a crazy. He's, he's stupid, and he tells us to build teams that are that are bad and don't work." I'm like, the team is has not failed, and it's been I've been not shutting up for an hour and eleven minutes. And the team has not failed. So, um, doing physically and mentally since your surgery. I still have this still Man, the older we get, the, the, the more, we, more we're just falling apart. I'm still falling apart. I just got to work on trying to be healthier in general. Um, but surgery-wise, like, everything is, is, has been fine after that. So, uh, well, for the most part. Could have been better, but uh, ask you a question. Everyone wants to know, where'd you meet your girlfriend? And how long are you together, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, not too long, like uh, a few months. And we actually, we actually met on Twitch. Because <laughs> she's a Twitch streamer. She's not like, that's not her job. She just streams on Twitch every couple times a week. Um, so yeah, and then I, I was like, because I, I would just like, just zone out and have her stuff on in the background sometimes. And I was like, thank you for being my therapist. And then she was, she thought I was joking. I was like, no, kind of, kind of therapy. Uh, so then she was like, oh, well, what's, what's wrong? Uh, so then that's basically how it started, right? It was like, I am a giant mess. Uh, I am a broken human being completely. And she's like, that happens to be what I'm attracted to. And I'm like, no, what? <laughs> that's not, I'm joking, but, um, but yeah, uh, she is, she does stream on Twitch every, so that's not her job, but she does stream on Twitch. Um, so I'll leave a link if you guys are curious. Now you gotta get me curious. Uh, so you guys can check out her Twitch channel and then she's gonna, uh, message me after this. She's gonna be like, all these random people <laughs> just showed up to my Twitch channel. Uh, someone who got into Summoner's War and was super intense for over a year and then got burned out and hasn't touched it in a year. Is there a reason to come back and try again? Honestly, if you like Summoner's War, there's other games. I mean, I'm, any of these games that have been out for so long that if you took a break for an extended period of time, you're going to be super behind everyone else just because of the way the game works. Like, the way these gotcha, um, these gotcha RPGs work is, like, you either invest time or you invest money or you invest both and you're super OP. But you, you can get away with not investing money if you invest a lot of time into it. Um, but if you, if you missed out on... Uh, on 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 playing for a year 
then you're either gonna have to catch up by spending a bunch of money or uh, or try something try something new. There's new games coming out all the time. Again, I, I take a look at uh, a bunch of different a bunch of different new games on youtubecom slash Begamon. <laughs> it's just a big giant hour long plug for the other channel. Um, so take a look at some of the things that uh, that you might be interested on uh, on there. I'm not saying don't play Summoner's War, but just not a great idea to try to be try hard after you've taken so much time off. Hey, you can enjoy it. Uh, just playing casually, right? You're gonna enjoy like, oh, I'm gonna do some dungeon, I'm gonna do some guild war, guild content, and arena is the easiest things to uh, to to get in. Just enjoy casually. Um, but as far as like RTA and things like that, it's mostly just RTA. As far as RTA, I wouldn't try to go crazy about RTA because it's you need to. You need to be spending a lot of time and a lot of money to be high level in RTA. Um, so yeah, I, you can come back and play casually, but I wouldn't stress out too much about it. I mean, it's supposed to be a game after all. Could you do an RTA video with the following comp? Vanessa, Light Robo, Wind Druid, Mav. But that's so easy to be destroyed. Um, I would not win any with that comp. <laughs> I, w I mean, I see your I see your strategy of like uh, kamikaze things, but um that's not that just gets easily shung pung easily like shung pung oki is just that's like vanessa windruid stuff was working like a year ago maybe but it's not really it's not really current um after the after the shung pung uh craziness all you have to do is draft the shung pung into that and then gg shung pung rocky uh wind demon uh what else there's so much stuff it's just it, that's why no one's using comps like that it's just it it, it like the, it, it wouldn't work you have to be efficient in rta that's why all the comps are the same thing um unfortunately so aside from birdman birdman does some fun stuff but he's he even stopped doing so much fun stuff he's like this fun stuff is not winning as much as just doing it let me just start doing uh doing that when are you gonna start streaming again we miss seeing you on twitch um Actually, most people didn't even notice that I stopped streaming. I know a couple people noticed that I stopped streaming. Most people didn't. It was just getting... There's a lot of drama in it. And uh, that's that's why I haven't been streaming on Twitch. Um, I might try to figure something out. It's not that I don't want to stream. It's just that, like... Maybe 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 stream some different games or something. There's just too much too much drama. Too much... And... and too much drama, and I feel like a lot of the people also that were there, that were watching, felt like they were watching because they had to watch. And I'm like, if I if if I'm not having fun being here, they're not having fun being here. Why are we here? Like we could be, I could be doing other stuff. I could be working on. And it's not like it's not like I stopped doing Twitch to try to do something else. I stopped doing Twitch and have been doing more stuff on the on the Bagelmon channel um, for that. So, um, not that I again, not that I don't want to stream on Twitch. It's just. I probably should have addressed that like months ago, shouldn't I? Can you please do a little series where you push to guard? But yeah, most people didn't even notice. That's the thing. Most people didn't notice. And I'm not even the only one because there's been other people that have stopped streaming. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know. I don't even know. This is the E7 player. He's at E7. He has Mango. Mango from the E7 community. He stopped streaming. It was like same same reasons basically. Uh, can you please do a little series which you push to Guardian again? Actually, fun fact: I'm like right next to Guardian. I just have to do a. I, I all I really have to do is like a full day of wings. Probably not even that. Probably like four four wins. Probably like four wins, uh, and I'd be Guardian again. So, but I haven't been showing it because it's just the same the same one or two comps every single time. Um, so, would you love to see it? Also, can you please do something with Sean B? Love that dish. Sean B is not... If you guys haven't seen his video... He likes to take a lot of shots at me. He's not a big fan. So, he would do a uh, collab with me for views, but not for personal uh, enjoyment. He would not do it. So, yeah. He, he's, he's, taken a lot of, he's taken a lot of shots at me. He's not, uh, he's, he's, he's not a huge... <laughs> he's not a huge fan. That's a, a polite way of putting it. Uh, not a huge fan. Uh, he's not a huge fan. Uh, how many people have you told to farm runes or farming runes? Some of them. Some of them. They still don't get runes, but they still... Uh, some of them try. Some of them still try. What legend runes do you sell and what to keep? I would keep most of the legend runes. Uh, unless one's like complete garbage, like flat. 
uh, flat stats on 246. Um, or like, I mean, some people will still keep the resistance, but like if it has, like if resistance has speed and you still try to roll speed uh, or efficiency, because some people go in for resistance slot six on some RTA comps, uh, actually. Um, also some double nemesis will things could be resistance on slot six for some uh, interesting counter mechanics for RTA. But generally, I, I would generally s s keep most legend runes because they're legend runes, because they, they can be used in one way or another, usually, unless they're flat stats on 246. Aside from speed, speed is, you love speed, we love speed. On each room type, what substats are, RG deflated these, uh, you have been watching for so long, you already know, this guy, is he, are you asking for other people? I, I'm, it's kind of a similar question to what I answered uh, a while ago. Also, I feel like he knows this, and I feel like he's asking for other people. Um... But yeah, check out those rune crafting videos or the rune assessment, rune uh, analysis videos in the video section uh, of the channel. Uh, and I would say to, to take a look at those because those give you like an in-depth of like, okay, we're going to craft rage runes. These are the substats I want on this. Okay, we crafted this rage rune, so it's a purple, but it also, it's good for copper. Or this rage rune is good for shaman or something, right? So uh, that, that would be, I mean, it's, it's, I would love to answer this in 15 seconds, but... You know. Also, I feel like he already knows that one because he's been playing for a long time. Do you actually enjoy playing the game anymore? Do it for the fans community. Sometimes I enjoy, uh, I enjoy playing. Um, I mean, really, like a lot of times it's frustrating when you have deadlines. You're like, I have to get out a video by the end of the day. I have to get out a video by the end of the day. And like, you do a video and then it fails, and you do a video and it fails, and you do a video and it fails. Uh, it gets very frustrating, especially when the developers are, like, specifically working against you to try to stop you from doing content. I'm like, I don't need to be wasting my time with this uh, anymore. But, yeah, I do Summoner's War content. I would be doing other content if you guys wanted to see other content. If you guys unanimously were like, play Genshin Impact, and, like, 80% of you said that, I would be playing Genshin. I would be like, okay, we're playing Genshin Impact then. Um... By the way, we do some Genshin Impact videos, but Genshin Impact videos have been doing very badly on youtube.com slash Bigamon. I put a lot of effort into those videos, too. Oh, uh, like heavily edited videos. The exact opposite of this one. Heavily edited short videos um, for Genshin Impact. And I think you guys, if you guys like Genshin, uh, you, pro you probably like those videos. Just they're very funny. I think they're, they're my, the slightly funny. I think they're very funny. They're sl maybe slightly funny. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, I would, I would just, I just do whatever you guys want. To be honest, it's just you guys click on Summoner's War videos, so I keep making Summoner's War videos. So, uh, since your surgery has your breathing and quality of life improved, I still have, I still have like an issue. Uh, however, it is at least better. I'm still trying, you know, it's still, it's still healing. Overall, uh, they say that it takes up to a year to be fully healed. So, I uh, haven't heard anything well about how you're feeling. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I, I wanted a bigger result. But uh, but yeah, like I said, it was, it was twofold of two different reasons why I did it for physical, like for, for uh, health reasons, and then also for visual reasons as well. So uh, yeah, no, no, I feel like I answered this one actually earlier. Uh, no, thank you for asking, uh, Anthony. No regrets. But uh, yeah, want, had a little bit higher expectations or higher hopes. Who do you think is the most underrated or most underutilized unit in the whole game? Oh my god, the most underutilized unit. Haven't I clickbaited this enough? <laughs> Haven't I done that? There's a, I mean, some of the two A's are, I think are pretty decent. I like Soren, but I don't think she's the most under, you know what? Uh, the Dark Pixie's pretty good. Pretty, pretty underrated, uh, underutilized unit. Uh, for those of you that are not in G3, the Wind Sniper, if you're in G3, you already know he's good. Wind Sniper is actually pretty decent. Um, I think that if you have a very efficiently Wind Sniper, he, he can't be just like super squishy and that's it. Because then he'll just die too easy. But he needs to be hybrid. He needs to have value. He can have less speed, but he does need to have a lot of valuable stats overall. Because he's going to boost his attack age anyway. So you don't need to take turn one with Wind Sniper. He's a turn two unit. Uh, but you do need more tankiness since he's a turn two unit. Um, so you can go for less speed. Uh, and that, but I think that Wind Sniper is a highly underrated unit. Um, again, if you're like Guardian G1, G2, you're like oh, G3, whatever. Like, if you're high level end game, you already know he's good. But for like mid game players, 
that have a bunch of him in storage and like I never bothered building him like he's he's he's, he's pretty good um water pixie's pretty good wind werewolf I have not been able to effectively use him in RTA he's got potential he's just anytime I tried to bring the wind werewolf into RTA on the on the Europe server account it was just like he would just get terrible RNG it was just like the, all the matches is like he somehow cursed the entire team for everyone to have terrible RNG and I'm like if I just get average RNG I can show some really cool stuff but uh, nope always terrible RNG with him around he somehow curses the whole team um, I think some of the fairies some of the pixies are a little bit underrated uh, a lot of the two-way units are, are underrated um, that aren't meta units but uh, Comptos put effort into trying to make the 2A units useful in one way or, an or another. Are you still enjoying Summer's War as much as when you started? Um, well, no. <laughs> no, but none of us really are. Uh, that's just, that's with any game though. Uh, any game, like for example, I am sure that someone that uh, plays uh, Minecraft is not enjoying Minecraft as much as if they started seven years ago doing Minecraft content or, or Grand Theft Auto or uh, Call of Duty or Super Mario or any content uh, of any kind. And you know what, that probably even uh, goes further than just gaming. That's probably like, I'm sure that if someone do has a channel where they bake cookies on YouTube uh, for seven years, I'm sure they don't enjoy baking cookies as much as they used to because they're like, <laughs> doing this for seven years, I kind of want to bake cupcakes now. Um, so. Uh, yeah, it's just anything when you do when you do it for seven years <laughs> every single day And it's like you're forced to do it. It's a different situation when you're forced to do it every day for seven years than Actually wanting to do it for <laughs> Actually wanting to do it for wanting to do it. it's a different situation when you do something as a job You lose some of the passion for it regardless of what it is uh, That's probably how I should answer the question. How many purchases out of ten do you regret in summer's war for me? I'd say ten out of ten I only regret the purchases, so probably 10 out of 10. Uh, I only regret the purchases where I don't get anything in return. If I spend money on the game and I get some kind of valuable something for content, like a new unit that I can do a video on, then I don't regret the purchase. If I if I spend money and I can do a video, I can make a video that people enjoy, no regrets. Uh, even if I don't use the unit after that, at least I did content with it, at least people uh, got something out of it. But if I spend five dollars and i get nothing i will regret the five dollars where i got nothing more than the fifty dollars where i got something for content so uh so yeah but uh, but uh, i i just i get it's it's a business for me it's different for me than it is for you guys because it's it's a job it's a business so i regret the things that are like bad business decisions, bad uh, bad investments. Um, do you feel happy doing what you do on the daily regarding video content creation? What would you change? Creation freedom, additional content ideas, free collaborative assistance. Wait, what? I'm, try I'm trying to uh, wrap my head around this question. Happy doing what you do on the daily regarding video content creation. I just wish that I had, I just wish that I had to, didn't have to keep re-recording Summoner's War videos and throwing them away every day so that I could make more videos on multiple different channels of multiple different kinds of content. Um, so I just want my content to be actually usable. Uh, what would you change? Creation freedom, additional content ideas right now there. I, I mean, that's basically, that's basically just the thing. I wish I had more time to make more videos on different channels, make more food videos. I think I got, some of these are similar to other ones. Not that they're a bad question, but they're similar to other ones. Do you have any plans to start an RT learning video series with your only personal runes and account to give? Didn't I answer this? I feel like I answered this one. Did I put it in here twice? I feel like I answered this one. Do you have any plans to start an RT learning video series with your only personal runes and account to give an end up showing how to play RT for newer learning people? Um, newer players aren't gonna play New players aren't going to be the rank that I am, and also new players aren't going to have because I'm I'm abusing LDs. I'm abusing uh, <laughs> I'm abusing my LD fives uh, in in RTA. Just being real, you got to use like anything that you have at your disposal because I want to win because I get pissed off when I lose because I'm a little crybaby. Um, for early game players, I would say to just be okay with losing um, and just. Cle just do basically what we did in the beginner's grind because we did a little bit in the beginner's grind if you haven't seen it uh, go check out people weren't watching it people weren't clicking on the videos so 
that the videos weren't able to be seen by more people so that YouTube wouldn't recommend them uh, to as many people. So that's why. Um, that's why you may have missed a lot of the beginner's grinds because, uh, so I would check out the, the, the videos section of the channel page because we did, uh, we did stuff like you're, you're looking for already, but again, not enough people clicked through on the videos so that it showed it to less people overall. So that they think that I didn't do it. Um, love YouTube. Even because like, even if you subscribe, it's not necessarily going to show you everything. That's why you got to subscribe and you got to click the bell. I wonder how many people are actually going to subscribe after this that are not, probably no new viewers are going to actually watch this, but um, I wonder how many people are going to click the bell after this. That might be interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I I would not, <laughs> Bat we just did a battery. Oh my God. Well, we, it's been an hour and a half anyway, so we should probably call it a wrap and then do another, we got to do another few of these because holy crap. Holy crap. An hour and a half of answering questions. This team has not failed once. I just want to remind you guys again, this team has not failed once. We're going to keep going because we, oh, oh, we still have to we're do one of those. Um, yeah, I would just cleave like the same thing. I would like, not everyone has bass that you can use fire. Uh, What's her face? Fire String Master. I don't know how this is. This is like a fish. Uh, you can use a Fire String Master and a Bernard or Draco or whatever. Uh, and then Julie Lucian and a Speed Lead. And sometimes you may want like a Shimate and Lucian or Shimate and Julie uh, and no Lucian. Or you need one Speed Lead. Sometimes you need to make sure you have two Speed Leads. Sometimes you're going to want to do Garrow. Uh, but I would say to just cleave, 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 cleave. We can do a cleave. But if You know what? I'll just write it down anyway. Uh, I'll just write it down anyway. I, I could have sworn I answered this question already. Maybe I already did. But um, but yeah, I, my account where I do RTA on my main and early game <laughs> players, they're two totally different things. Two totally different things. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I could do some more on the Asia server. We could do some, some cleave stuff. So um, I think there's only Fighter 3 right now. I do a different kind of cleave, but we'll change it. Uh, we'll change it up to be like a free-to-play friendly kind of cleave thing. So I don't, it's it's not it, the runes aren't fast enough on that thing though. Anyway, we'll figure something out. Um, so let's call it a day for this one. It's already been an hour and thirty minutes. I'm sorry for. I mean, I'm just trying to answer the questions. It's just I can't seem to shut up ever. So uh, that's it for this one. I'll answer more questions if you guys want. I'll I'll continue answering questions. There's so many questions. Uh, so I'll just continue answering questions in the next one. Because there's still a lot more good questions that people asked. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you as always in the next one.